interrupting the show for a special report. Because now it is time for Bag Lab. <laughs> All right, so our, our Bag Lab uh, tip for this week is something that I submitted myself. Um, I noticed in the past two weeks, we've been getting a lot of um, emails uh, requesting help for printing PDF patterns or um, customers that had challenges printing out their uh, PDF patterns. And so I did a screen share video walking through just some basic um, tips for printing, get, making sure things are printed out correctly. And I also mentioned um, something to clearly avoid. So. Um, Danny helped me reconfigure the technology this week to make sure we were able to record a, a screen share video of my computer screen. So um, Danny's going to uh, play that now and enjoy. Hi there, today we're going to be talking about how to download, open, and print your PDF patterns. Um, this is especially important in preparation for printing out the pattern pieces. So we're going to be discussing some best practices as well as some things to definitely avoid to make sure that your pattern pieces print out correctly. So at least for So Sweetness patterns, there's two ways that you can download your pattern. The first way is if you made the purchase using your account on my website, you can log into your account and download the PDF files from there. Um, an alternative method to that, which is available to everyone regardless if they use their account or not, Everyone should receive an order confirmation email with a link to download the pattern and you can download it from there as well. So I've downloaded a pattern to my computer and the first thing that I'm going to talk about is one thing that you 100% should never do as far as uh, when you're going to print your PDF patterns. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And if you take a look at this bar over here, you never want the PDF pattern to open in a web browser if you plan on printing the pattern pieces. So this is what that looks like over here. As you can see, this, this bar at the top, which looks similar to a web browser, you never want to print the PDF file from there. Even if the one inch square measures up, sometimes this distorts the pattern pieces so they are slightly either slightly smaller or slightly larger than they are supposed to be for that pattern. So how to print the pattern pieces. So you always want to use Adobe Reader. It's a free program that you can download to your computer or device, and you always want to have the most recent, recent version. So if you're not sure if you either have it on your device or if you're not sure if you have the most recent version, all you need to do is Google Adobe Reader. And right here, the free download is the first one, um, Adobe Acrobat Reader. This one right here, you just click it and um, it will just automatically download to your computer or device in the correct version. Um, right here, it says I'm using Windows. If you're using something different, it'll automatically um, determine which system you're using and download the correct version to your device. Okay, so I'm also going to uncheck these two boxes over here, and then if you need to, you can get that downloaded start, download started. So I already have uh, Adobe on my device, so I went ahead and opened it. There are ways to set it as a default so that when you open a PDF file, it always opens it up automatically in Adobe Reader, but I'm assuming that you might not have that set up on your device already, so we're just going to assume that you don't, and I've just gone ahead from my desktop and opened Adobe Reader. So um, I've got some of my patterns over here, but if you need to look for a different file, you just go to File, Open, and then you can browse on your desktop um, where you keep your, your pattern downloads. Uh, it might be in your download section. Again, I'm using um, a desktop computer. If you're using Apple or something else, yours might look slightly different than mine. So. I'm, for this demonstration, I'm using um, the Tower Crossbody Bag, which is a free pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up on my desktop. Again, you can see the little Adobe icon in the top uh, left-hand corner. And I'm going to go to Print. So I'm going to select Print over here. These are my printer settings. Yours might look not 100% the same as mine, depending on your printer, but um, this is what mine looks like, and there's a few things that should be similar on all. So the first section over here, 
um, pages to print. So you can either select all of them or, for instance, if you only want to print the pages with the pattern pieces on them in the tower cross body bag, in that case, it's the last two pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and select 12 and 13 since that's the last two pages of the pattern. So this little graphic over here shows a, a preview and sometimes the preview is not 100% accurate for what you'll see uh, when it comes printed out. So you always can test one page if you'd like before you print all of the, the pattern pieces. For this pattern, there's only two pages to print out, but some of my other patterns have more than two pages. So you can always do a test print for one of the pages. And when doing a test print, you can find the page with the one inch square and the four centimeter square um, for more accuracy so you can measure them out before you print out all your pieces. So that's just optional. You can either print them all out or start with the page with the, the one inch square and the four centimeter square. This section over here, for all of my patterns, you always want to click the little box that says actual size. And again, your um, selections might vary, but generally my recommendation is to go with actual size so that your pieces print out as they design them. And uh, sometimes uh, people have issues with having either portrait or landscape checked, um, especially portrait. Sometimes pages get uh, cut off when they get printed out. So I am always using this auto uh, checkbox over here. So generally, those are the only things that you need to look for when printing out the pattern pieces. If you're printing and things are looking very wrong, um, I've had a couple customers in the past where they had to dig down a little deeper. So what I mean by that is uh, go to properties, um, do sort of a deep dive and kind of visually glance at all of the settings and see um, that they're what you're looking for when you're printing, such as uh, portraits. Um, I think those are the main things to look for. But if you're having serious issues, you want to take a look at these um, other settings. I'm in the United States, so I'm using uh, letter size paper, eight and a half by 11. If you're using A4 paper, that will work as well um, as far as my patterns go. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Um, and uh, one more thing before we move over to the overhead camera so that I can show you the pages. Um, if at any time you're having difficulty um, printing out your pattern pieces, um, a good alternative if you're tired of fiddling with the printer on your computer or say your iPad, um, you can always attempt to download the Adobe app from your cell phone and print directly from a cell phone. That's, so that's sort of um, a last resort method um, that, that we off offer because um, I do really want you to be able to get your pattern pieces printed out correctly. It will certainly make the sewing process um, a whole lot easier. Okay, so here are my pattern pieces printed out and here's that uh, second page of the two with the one inch square and the four centimeter square. So like I mentioned earlier, you should always measure either the one inch square or the four centimeter square to make sure they measure exactly. So the square, whichever square you decide to measure, um, it shouldn't be slightly smaller or it shouldn't be slightly larger. It needs to be exact. And by exact, I mean literally exact. It shouldn't be a hair less or a hair larger. Um, also in my, my current patterns, I have a few older patterns where I've used a different designing process, but all of the current patterns should have, if you'll notice on both of these pages, I have a rectangle, um, kind of a border surrounding all of the artwork in the center. And if you'll notice my rectangle is centered, the rectangle is not pushed off to the left side or pushed off to the right side. It's in the center and also, um, the little black triangles, the triangles are here for um, taping the pattern pieces together. The black triangles are not cut off. You can see that the rectangle is uh, continuous and that includes um, the black triangle. So that's important as well. And um, some of the things that we talked about earlier, um, the settings especially, if some of those are um, incorrect, um, you might get some things like the triangles cut off or the rectangle pushed to one side or the other. Um, so those are a few best practices for opening and printing out your pattern pieces. All right, hopefully that was helpful. And who even knows, as I was watching that video, I was thinking, you know, the way that technology works 
in a couple years, will that even still look the same as far as the printer settings? I don't know. Um, anyway, let's get on to some... Uh,